Here's another of air fluid level in the liver. There are perfusion changes around it. This is most consistent with the liver abscess. Liver abscess can be a sequela of surgery, uh, anything from appendicitis to diverticular disease to uh, Whipple's procedure, colon surgery. Of course, liver abscesses can be a sequela of infection in the liver primary there. It also can be secondary to inflammatory processes, and you have seeding. Again, think about appendicitis and diverticulitis. It could be due to endocarditis. Just a very nice example of uh, liver abscesses with fluid tracking down perihepatic. Just a really, really nice example, and a few nice images, including some 3D mapping. And here it is. You can see the, uh, the vessels being stretched by that abscess. There's no evidence of aneurysm or pseudoaneurysm in this case.